the mind quiets down so there is no questions you're not questioning things you're not questioning of how am i going to be taken care of who's going to feed me you're kind of relaxing into this understanding and then in this relaxation in that moment that the the switch is flipped and you're just kind of relaxing into it all of a sudden you start to begin to see simultaneously that there's a greater force that is feeding you it's providing to you even though it looks like you're the one who's doing things you're the one who has to go to work you're the one who has to take care of your children you're the one who's paying your checks your bills but you start to see that there's a natural flow which is happening through you and the more you recognize that the more you start to see that existence is really providing for you all the time in a very mysterious way in a very very mysterious way life takes care of you and the more you surrender into it the easier it gets not easier as far as okay i'm really going to surrender to life and incorporate this understanding that means i don't have to go to work anymore i don't have to make money anymore or i don't have to look after my children anymore i'm not talking about that you still have to go to work you still have to make money and you still have to be responsible and if it's in your karma that you need to work a lot to pay your bills if it's in your karma that you have to be very responsible for a lot of kids or family or whatever if that's a part of your karma you will be doing that when i say things get easier i'm not saying that existence is going to deposit $5000 a month in your bank account automatically every month it can happen but that's not what i'm talking about easy as far as that goes what i'm talking about is becomes easy as far as you start to realize the flow it's a recognition of the flow of life that you're not the one who's calling the shots you're not the one who making these decisions even though it looks like you are but you start to realize you are not even though in a moment it appears that you're the one who decides that okay let's go on a family vacation or let me buy this piece of real estate it appears to be you're making that decision but that decision is already being made for you and you start to see that you start to notice it that something much bigger than you is making the decisions for you and putting it in your heart and makes you think you're doing it but you're not doing it it appears that you're making the decision but that is doing it for you you start to see it you start to notice that and that's where the freedom starts to come because you begin to realize that you're in good hands no matter which direction you go whether your decision ends into a disaster it's a mistake everything went wrong or your decision turns to be very positive you don't question it anymore you don't beat yourself up you are starting to surrender to whatever th- happens in your life whatever is happening you're surrendering to it and you're accepting it and you don't blame yourself the blame goes away 
you decide on doing something and that thing ends up losing money. You lose money in an area. But you know, you didn't make that decision. It was a part of your path to do that. And you lose money. You recognize it, but you're not afraid because you know that the source, God, wanted you to do that experience. But you're so much in surrender that existence brings another situation for you. It puts you in that situation that you're in trouble and the same force takes you out of that situation and puts you in another situation. You begin to see the flow. And in that, you're surrendering to it. And you're going to see how easily things come together. And in that, switch of consciousness this is a switch in your perception it's a perception you have you are looking at things this way that you're in control you're the one who's making the decisions and when the decisions go wrong you're beating yourself up on the other hand when the decisions go right you're patting yourself telling yourself how great you are you no longer do any of them. You're simply a vehicle for Her Majesty to operate through you. You have become a vehicle without any illusions that you have anything to do with any of it. You are simply a tool. You become a pen Your pen in the hand of God. The pen doesn't decide what to write. It's the hand that is writing. You're just a pen. You become a pen in the hand of God. God is writing all this nice poetry. You have nothing to do with it. You're just a pen. But then you publish a book and you put your name on it. And you sell a million copies of that book. And a lot of people come and applaud to you. But you know down inside that you didn't write that book. You were a vehicle. You were a pen. God was using you to write the book. You can't... You may say thank you, thank you very much, da 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 but down deep inside you know you didn't do it. And down deep inside, you know you're taken care of. At all times, no matter where you are, what happens, you know that you're 100% taken care of regardless of anything happens in the world. Anything happens in the world, it doesn't matter what that is. You are 100% protected always. Always. Because you've given up the illusion of free will. Amir, do I have my book here? Oh yeah, if you give me the book, thank you. I want to read something to you. That's tremendous amount of freedom. That is freedom. Freedom from suffering. This whole part that if you get it and implement it in your daily life will free you. But, of course, a part of this freedom is that going around the sick mind, going around this mind which is diseased, it's sick, it's twisted, it's tormented. For some of you, the mind is tormented completely. It creates all kinds of suffering. It makes you suffer because you believe it, because you believe you're your mind, you're your thought, stream of thoughts. That's what you believe you are. 